<laughs> Alexa, turn it up. Flashing lights, you're not alone. <laughs> As you may be able to tell, this video is about events. Raves, if you will. Trapped in your mind in a haze out. Blowing up my phone and I come down. And how I plan on going to them as frequently as possible while sticking to my fitness goals. This is very specific to me. The gym is a big part of my life, however, it is not my entire life. Bear that in mind with all of this advice. In fact, don't even call it advice. This is just what I am going to do. It might work for you, it might not. Let's do this. Okay, so, last week I went to Solid Grooves, right? Michael Bibby, my mate Michael, I've loved him for years. Um, he's really not very well at the minute actually, which is really sad. So, hashtag get well Bibby. It was actually outside, it was in London, right? So I just moved to Birmingham and I'm finding myself in London for all these events, which is, to be honest, kind of cool because when I first moved here, um, the social life was up here, then like I said in the previous video, it's kind of gone up and down a little bit. Um, so now, like, I'm finding myself all over the place, not just in Birmingham, it's really cool. Um, so anyway, I'm just packing all my stuff. Um, it's actually outside a new venue, it's called like Silverworks or like the Dockyards or like Silverworks Dockyards or something like that. It's kind of like Canary Wharf, like on the Thames. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't know, really cool venue. Um, here's the highlights from last week. So some of you maybe not some of you, some of you may be wondering what I did for gym around that time because it's a day rave, um, obviously I don't train on the day, um, the travel down to London is quite long and all that kind of stuff, I didn't go at all, I haven't really been gym at all for the past couple of weeks and that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of on this mission to find a new routine because, um, well right now, to be honest, I've busted my bicep, I don't know how, I pick up, you've probably noticed in this clip, like I kind of pick up my bag like willy nilly, like even doing that hurts, so I can't imagine doing bicep curling or lap pull down or anything like that right now, I just can't, I just can't see it happening. Um, so I assume I kind of twinged my bicep by like picking my bag up willy nilly, so that's good, that's my new injury, maybe that's my video title or something, I don't know. Um, I always feel like I have something and it's quite frustrating, so one, I think I'm going to get that scene to. Um, and two, I'm just going to be a bit more cautious, I'm going to start doing stuff like just corrective stretching, just looking after myself, looking after my body, you know. I put my body through a lot, I don't sleep a lot, my diet's not great, I haven't been training, I don't do anything for recovery, I haven't actually slept an awful lot. Have, have, I, have I just said that? Oh, anyway, you, you get the gist. But Silverworks Island, right, I'm packing because it's open, it's like a really open venue, there's no shelter whatsoever. Really cool if it's sunny. So, we have shorts, we have cargoes, I'm going to take a tea as well. I basically need to decide on the day what it is that I'm going to be wearing. Uh, I'm going to drive down, take my cargoes, I'll wear the same shoes regardless. But a couple of options that I can decide on based on the weather. Yes. Yes. So what will I be doing differently this week? Um, not an awful lot to be honest. I tried training yesterday um, and it just it just did not work. It, it just didn't, I, I just couldn't even like, I did legs funnily enough because my biceps messed up. I couldn't even grip the thing at the side, the, the, the handlebars at the side of the leg extension. I couldn't even do that and I was just like, it really, it got me down a little bit to be honest because I was ready like in the right mindset to get back into training, get back into this routine and all that kind of stuff and I just couldn't. Um, and it really, it did get me down a little bit. I said to Joe and I was, he was just like, look, you know, you've had like a month off, <laughs> which is near on true. So, um, take my time and not only that, I picked up an injury along the way somehow. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's about time I washed this towel too. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that now. So I actually bought a, um, like a, like a little raincoat, like a little 
Kagul kind of Anorak type thing. Um, obviously, because of the unpredictable weather, I am. Um, I bought this little thing that you can put like a, a in a bag, or it comes in a bag, and then you uh, you can just clip it to like your belt strap thing. Um, because it's not going to be cold, but it might absolutely piss it down. So, slightly concerned about that. Wasn't quite sure what to do, and just thought, hmm. I was right by one of those shops that sells them, like you know the fancy outdoor ones, and I had to pay twenty five quid for it, which is a bit sad, but hey ho. I used to freaking love these shoes. Now look at them. Absolute state. I wore them last week and it was dusty. So this place, like Silverworks, Dock, whatever, it's full of rocks. Like it's not pavement or like gravel or whatever. It's like stones and it's dusty and it was dry and sunny. So my shoes wind up looking like this. Let's see what we can do about that. I would be on my own to delete all your pictures from my phone, but I really need you closer. All right. Is this the best way to clean your shoes? I mean, no. Whoa, that's made a mad difference, though. Flipping heck. Is it the best way to clean your shoes? No. Should I have waited and put these cloths in with the wash that I just put on? Yes. You know what? It's, they're coming up all right. They are ruined, though. Like, the shoes are just... They're, they're not wearable to, like, a restaurant. I couldn't wear these to a restaurant or something now. I wouldn't want to. They probably smell. I'm almost thinking as well, what's the point in making them proper clean because going to the same venue and so they're just going to get in the same state but I don't want to turn up looking awful, you know. To be fair, that, that's an alright difference, like, I mean, that's, that's not too bad, right? I'd say that's not too bad. <laughs> Alexa, pause. How's that, ladies and gents? Yep, yep, yep. Phenomenal. Bit of chasing status, bit of boo, bit of headaches. Hybrid minds. <laughs> All sorts. Decent, to be fair. I mean, 25 quid's a bit spenny. I probably could have gone to Primark. Um, but apparently people can't get them from Primark at the minute because... I assume because it's like festival season and people are going well, to events just like me, so I don't know. It folds up into this nice little bag though, so when I have my jean shorts on, I'll put like, I'll, I'll put this back in here and like clip it, you know, so that I can just have it flailing about while I'm, you know. <laughs> now how the hell do I get it back in the bag? Oh god. Relax my eyes. Okay. Boom. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get, I think, anyway. Oh, screw it, that'll do. Shoes, jacket thing, spare clothes, bag of junk, and that's it. I'm, I'm only going for one night. So anyway, the gym is all about sustainability, right? I mean, I mean, for most people. So that means that, again, for most people, the best plan or the best kind of why do I hang my boxes up in like every video? Like why? How? I never have any clean boxes and yet in every single vlog I'm doing it. So that basically means that for most people, the best fitness plan, the best gym routine, workout routine or whatever, is the one that you can stick to, right? Fitness, the gym, bodybuilding, whatever, is a big part of my life. It's a way that I pay my rent, I pay my bills by producing fitness content, whether it's for myself or for other people. That's what I do, that's how I earn my money, that's, that's my business, right? But does that necessarily mean that it has to be my entire life? I have to Seabum dedicate myself? Actually, Seabum's a bit of an anomaly, isn't he, really? He's kind of actually... Who's a better example? I don't know, like friggin' Jay Cutler or something, you know? I don't have to be Jay Cutler, right? That's a great example, right, right, right. You, you know what I mean? Although being the size of Jay Cutler would be kind of cool, to be fair. But what a lot of people don't realise is what it actually takes to look like and to be Jay Cutler, right? I'm not about that life. I, I just like training, you know? So if I want to sit here and get 25 grams of protein in from a peach and passion fruit yoghurt from Audi, I want to be able to do that, you know? I don't want to have to think to myself, hmm. Instead of having that clear way, let me have an extra chicken and rice meal. 
Is there a time and a place for that? Yeah, absolutely. But that time and that place is not here or now for me anyway. So, I will be going to my event, enjoying myself every few weeks or so, because I won't have much time after this one. I've got shows pretty much every weekend. Oh no. Is it optimal? No, but again, we are not trying to be Jay Cutler. We're not trying to be Chris Bunster. I'm not out here trying to win an Olympia title, not even close. As long as I can do what I enjoy and what I love, and that is exactly what I am doing right now, right? I am working hard personally to find a balance between business, between social, between just self alone time at the same time. It's like, you know, th there's something in the middle of all of these things. There's a bit of a circle that then bits kind of overlap and you just plonk yourself in the middle, you know? Or at least that's what I'm telling myself anyway. But I will continue to do exactly what it is that I'm doing right now because although I feel like the past few weeks have been difficult, um, I feel like I'm on the right track to kind of discovering what it is that I need to do for me now. And so in order to do that, I'm just gonna trial and error just like everyone else throughout life, you know? Not overstress, not overthink things. I'm gonna have my protein yogurts, I'm gonna have my clear way. And I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna be rocking these. To worry about Henry. Stay tuned on my Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Um, TikTok, uh, I need to start uploading them as shorts as well. Little highlights of the day. As long as I don't get too wet, I'll be all right. Mind you, I've got me cagoul, <laughs> so we'll be good either way. But anyway, that's it. I'm done ranting. I'm gonna take myself some dinner tonight. I'm either gonna go for a Nando's because I have points that I've not used for, for ages. So I can get a free Nando's. So I think I might go for a Nando's or something. Um, either that or like a Waggers. I really fancy a Waggers, but the Nando's is free today. So, you know, I don't know, we'll decide. But anyway, that's another thing. It's like, oh, I can't have a Nando's because it's not, not, it's like, shut up. Like I can, maybe not everyone can, but me personally for at this point in my life right now, I can. So I will, I shall, and I will enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'll keep you all updated on the bicep. Um, I'm just basically, I'm gonna rest it. I'm not gonna train tomorrow or the day after. Um, so that will be Sunday, Monday. Um, I'll get back in the gym on Tuesday, hopefully for a full body session because I'm hoping that'll be like best part of two weeks since I did this. So hopefully by then it'll be fine. Um, I put it under a bit of strain at the gym yesterday and it was a mistake. I woke up today and it hurt, you know? So it is what it is. Just like everything else, we'll wing it. Take it as it comes. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you want to see me make next, whether it's a challenge, whether it's the best gym video. If it is a best gym video, where do you want it to be? Training videos, again, we'll be back soon. Um, I'm going to be getting back into the routine, full days of eating, everything like that. All the good stuff that you know and love. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have flexed my arm. That actually really hurt.